amid the escalating tensions in the Southern Red Sea between the United States, England, and the Healthy Rebels, an Iranian destroyer armed with long-range cruise missiles entered the Bab al-Mandab Strait, which serves as the southern gateway to the Red Sea. Iran claims its objective is to safeguard maritime security. However, is it genuinely for maritime security, or is the deployment of this warship intended to provide support to the Houthi rebels? While Iran's primary motive remains a question mark, it is indeed challenging not to associate it with support for the Houthi rebels. The reason is that Western media consistently links Iran when mentioning the Houthi group, using phrases like Houthi group allied with Iran or Houthi group supported by Iran. Western media does frame the closeness of the relationship between Iran and the Houthi group. However, the real question that lingers is how close is their relationship? To answer that, let's delve into the broader context of Yemen's relations and the specifics of the Houthi group. Discussing the relationship between Yemen and Iran means we need to consider two distinct eras, before and after the Iranian Revolution. Why? Because these two eras are different. In the 1960s, before the revolution when Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi was in power in Iran, Iran supported Yemeni fighters against Marxist militants. The reason was that Mohammad Reza Pahlavi was a pro-Western monarch in Iran. However, after the revolution, Iran continued to provide support to Yemen, but specifically directed it towards the Houthi movement, which emerged in the 1990s. This movement arose as opposition to Yemen's president, Ali Abdullah Saleh, who was accused of corruption and supported by Saudi Arabia and the United States. The Islamic Republic of Iran began to grow closer to Yemen following the end of the Iran-Iraq War. It began with Iran hosting religious students from the Houthi group. Among these students was Hussein Badreddin al-Houthi, who later led a rebellion in Yemen against the government. Why did Iran choose to support the Houthi rebels? The reason lies in the fact that the Houthi is an Islamic political and military organization with a Shia orientation. However, in reality, there are differences between the Shia beliefs of Iran, which mostly follow the Imamiya sect, and the Houthi, who are primarily adherents of the Zaidiya sect. Essentially, they belong to different branches of Shia Islam. Yet Iran and the Houthi share common interests, including the desire for a Shia-led government, a dislike for predominantly Sunni Saudi Arabia and its ally, the United States. Moreover, Iran's support for the Houthi group grew stronger during the echoes of the Arab Spring Revolution in Yemen. The situation is such that many kingdoms in the Arabian Gulf, especially Saudi Arabia, have a history of concern regarding Iran. These nations often make efforts to limit and counter Iran's regional influence. The Arab Spring moment could potentially isolate Iran's influence further in the Middle East. On the other hand, the relationship between Iran and internationally recognized South Yemen, supported by Saudi Arabia, has deteriorated. This is due to Iran's support for the Houthi government in North Yemen. In fact, the Yemeni government even announced the severance of diplomatic ties with Iran because of its support for the Houthi rebels, ultimately shifting the Yemeni embassy in Iran to the Houthi government. In general, it's evident that Iran now plays a much more substantial role in Yemen than before 2011 due to additional opportunities for engagement and new incentives for Iran to support anti-government movements and establish a Shia state in Yemen. The lengthy and intense Arab Spring uprising in Yemen against the Saleh regime allowed Iran to work more effectively with the Houthi rebels, especially after the Houthi gained de facto authority in the Sada province. Although they share common interests with Iran, the Houthi rebels essentially have their own role to play in Yemen. The 2011 uprising in Yemen was primarily driven by economic grievances, such as corruption and increasing poverty. 
Then, in 2014, the Houthi group protested against the government's fuel reforms. As they worked to hold back the geopolitical influence of Saudi Arabia in Yemen, Iran has forged a partnership with the Houthi, encompassing areas such as oil, trade, and electricity generation. While taking control of North Yemen, the Houthis utilized both legal and illegal sources of income to secure their territory and enrich their group's leadership. For legal income, the Houthis levied taxes and import duties on goods entering their areas of control. They claimed to be the legitimate governing authority in the north. However, this dual tariff system drained the economic strength of traders and caused a drastic rise in prices in the northern region, making it unaffordable for the majority of the population. Yet, the Houthi's primary and illegal source of income has been the sale of smuggled oil products in Yemen's black market. Although the group doesn't control Yemen's oil and gas fields, they have ambitions to develop the energy industry. Houthi officials have called on foreign companies to invest in oil exploration in the areas under their control. To this end, Iran has signed economic cooperation agreements covering the fields of electricity and oil as well as trade and economic exchanges. Since the early days of the Houthi takeover in North Yemen, Iran has been supplying approximately 200 megawatts of electricity to Yemen. Iran has also inked an air transport agreement with the Houthi, where Iranian and Yemeni airlines will operate 14 flights per week for each destination. Iran and Houthi's cooperation in the military domain has successfully transformed the Houthi from a local guerrilla group into a more sophisticated armed force with the ability to effectively target both land and sea objectives. Security assistance from the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps through the smuggling of weapons and ammunition allowed the Houthis to bolster their defensive capabilities. However, in recent times, Iran has ceased the secret arms shipments to the Houthi as part of an agreement mediated by China in March 2023. The goal is to rebuild diplomatic relations with Saudi Arabia. On paper, in recent news, the United States claimed to have seized Iranian weapons intended for the Houthi in Yemen in early 2024 near the coast of Somalia. This seizure occurred during escalating violence in the Red Sea related to the Israel-Gaza conflict. Iran also assisted the Houthis in building their own weapons factories and played a role in shaping Houthi media. The Houthi group often coordinates with Iran and pro-Iranian armed groups in Iraq on information and propaganda with the aim of garnering public sympathy worldwide. For example, the Houthi group claims responsibility for the attacks they carry out. So the extensive information disseminated by the Houthi group can be attributed to Iran's involvement. Their choice to play a role in the media has proven to be highly effective. To some extent, the success of the Houthi in becoming an influential group in Yemen has also benefited Iran. In fact, the Houthis' resilience and unpredictability indirectly put pressure on Saudi Arabia. Iran also gains indirect access to the Red Sea due to the presence of the Houthi. On the other hand, the Houthi group has greatly benefited from Iran's support so far. They have been able to withstand prolonged conflicts without losing their controlled territories, including the capital, Sana'a. All of this is thanks to military training and weapons associated with Iran. However, it is worth noting that Iran's support is primarily effective during times of conflict, and it remains uncertain whether Iran can or is willing to support the Houthis' political goals during peacetime or at least during ceasefire periods. This depends on the strength of Saudi Arabia's support for South Yemen. In essence, Iran holds significant influence over the decisions made by the Houthi group. But fundamentally, the Houthi remain distinct from other Iranian proxies like Hezbollah or Hamas. First, the Houthis have financial autonomy from Iran, which means they do not significantly impact Iran's economy. 
Second, the Houthis do not belong to the Twelver Shia branch, unlike Hamas, which is a Sunni movement.